he's taken a bigger hand in it, absolutely, and, and wants to. And um, I think he's head coach and gets to make those decisions, obviously, and, and we're excited to have him be a little bit more part of it. Of some ideas, maybe some things that, that haven't been. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a background and um, some success on offense, and uh, has been around some, some really good players and coaches, and um, has some great ideas himself. How's it going to Pittsburgh? How's the environment? You know, just facing the squad coming off the bye week. Talk about this matchup. You know, just getting back on, trying, trying to get this first win too. Well. Yeah, yeah, it won't be easy, right? This is a good team, tough, tough environment. Uh, we got to come ready. Um, I thought today was a great first step in that direction. I thought we practiced well today. Came out with some juice, refreshed off the bye week, fresh start in some ways. Um, and I think you know, it's going to take all of us to win this game. We know that they got a good defense uh, and they and they got a hostile environment, but we'll be ready. It'll be a fun one. Yeah, great time. A lot of time to refresh, relaxed. Uh, saw some friends. Uh, sat on the couch mostly, but relaxed. Does that freshness maybe help establish the rhythm you're looking for? Yeah, I think so. I think you, just any time you can kind of get away and, and refresh in any situation. If if you know it was eight and zero or where we're at, you know it's good to be able to step back, reflect, catch your breath a little bit, um, and come back recharged. Throughout the course of the season so far, but what makes Watt so so good on the edge there? His get off is as good as anyone in the league, I think. Um, and obviously, he's special uh, physically. What he can do, his speed, his strength. Um, he can play coverage as well. He can. He's got decent hands for a guy who's a rusher. Um, so yeah, he's he's as he's as good as he gets. Awesome. Really awesome. Really good to have his energy back and have his. Uh, just his presence out there, and um, a guy who's seen it, a guy who's done it, um, and a guy who loves football, and, and it, we're excited to have him back. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Earlier today. <laughs> That's Jerry. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, earlier today, Dan said there was no talks with him or Brad Holmes about claiming Josh Reynolds. You know, that's a guy you've had some familiarity with. Just what would it mean to you for they bring to bring a guy in like that? Yeah, Josh, great player. I saw he's available. Um, obviously, up to Brad and, and Dan on that. Um, but I'm a fan of Josh's, and, and wherever he lands, I'm sure he'll be he'll be great. I'm curious what Alvin Brown would bring different to the looks out there if he gets a little more run and see versus the, the slot. How yeah. does that change at all? Yeah, it would it would uh, you know give him a chance to kind of showcase his whole game. I think you know he we do love him in the slot, but I think he's he's a special player and 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 separate getting getting separation for himself inside or outside. So uh, if if we do get him out there, it'll give him a good chance to showcase that. Um, playing with it a little bit, but uh, we'll see how how we want him before. Um, probably the same stuff that needs to change here for overall success. I don't know. I mean, typically, you know, positive gains and staying on track will result in points in the red zone and, and touchdowns. And, um, you know, I think the biggest killer is, is penalties. Your first and goal on the nine and then your first and goal on the 19, it's tough. And I, I, don't, I don't know how many times we've done that to ourselves, but I'm sure a couple. Um, so just eliminating self-inflicted wounds and uh, staying on track. Was on the right side throughout the summer, and then obviously had to switch to the left right before the season started. Just from your view, how has he handled everything and sort of the moving parts there now with Taylor coming back? Handled it great. Really handled it great. I know we've kind of moved him around quite a bit now, and uh, I'm sure he'd like to get comfortable on either side, and, and I think he has really um, gotten comfortable on both sides, right? But uh, I think he's handled it really well from his standpoint where he could be like, you know, complaining and bitching about it. You know, they keep moving me around, but he's. He's a pro and, and has handled it really well. All good. Thanks, guys. Sure, sure, sure.